Hello, Dr. Craig. Hello. Um, if God the Father had came to, as a sacrifice instead of the Son, would have that made the atonement problematic or, or anything like that? <sighs> That's a really <laughs> interesting question that gets into the doctrine of the Trinity and probably depends on whether you think that there is a difference between what theologians call the ontological trinity and the economic trinity. The ontological trinity are the three persons of the Godhead considered in and of themselves, not in relation to the world. The economic trinity would be the trinity insofar as they play different roles in the plan of salvation. Now, um, if you think that whoever plays the role of the sin bearer and sacrifice for sin is the son, then you would see the question in a sense doesn't make sense because whoever plays that role would be the son and that could have been any one of the three. Um, but if you do think that there is this, this distinction between the father and the son, then you're asking whether the father could have become incarnate and in his human nature died for sin. I've never seen that discussed. Um, it's not obvious to me why that would be impossible um, because Christ died not in his divine nature but in his human nature and so if the father had a human nature that could similarly <coughs> suffer and die. Um, it might make difficulty for the submission of the father to the son. That, that would seem to invert the, the order of subordination that could be problematic.